This is a video that will shock you to your core. What you are seeing is police in the city of Chicago running up and brutalizing resident Leroy Kennedy in the Humboldt Park neighborhood of the city. For whatever reason, the police did not release the audio in full. His head would be smashed against the wall behind him, which you see is made up of bricks. Then he was slammed to the ground. In an interview with ABC7, Kennedy said he was not resisting. He just simply wanted to get his glasses. That's when the second brutalization occurred. Kennedy said he suffered a concussion in all this. ABC7 notes he was very wobbly when the officer, who put handcuffs on him, led Kennedy to the squad car. In the video of Kennedy in the back of the vehicle with the door open, his face appears beaten up and bloodied. He was also tending to his wrist, flexing it, trying to loosen it as it appears injured. A crowd gathered outside where this assault occurred, many residents asking what Kennedy did to deserve to be in the shape he was left in. You see police pushing some in the neighborhood back. Yeah, get him some medical attention for what you did to the poor guy. Here's the thing. A supervisor asked the officers who hurt Kennedy, what was he arrested for? Their answer is mum. So the supervisor reframes his question. So you don't know what he was arrested for? Kennedy's lawyer, Christopher Smith, told ABC7, the police can't even pretend he did anything. You have a police report with no description of a crime and no reason to approach him other than his bulging eyes. Per the outlet, officers claim they confronted Kennedy because he had a shocked look on his face. When he saw police, officers claim they thought Kennedy was attempting to conceal a firearm. Thus, one of the officers immediately flips up Kennedy's t-shirt, which revealed nothing. With both cops now menacing Kennedy, the black cop keeps trying to grab him before they slammed him to the ground together. Per CNN, Kennedy says in his suit that he was walking on a sidewalk minding his own business. Despite not breaking any laws, he was suddenly grabbed by police and slammed into a brick wall and officers then slammed his head into the pavement more than once, the court doc adds. To make matters worse, the West Side man said he spent four days in jail and was charged with aggravated battery to an officer, but he said video of the incident shows police were the aggressors quote it left me feeling traumatized man i ain't gonna lie you get nervous you get more nervous once you see the police of course no weapon or drugs were found later after supervisors arrived the officers appeared to have little to say kennedy had nothing illegal in his possession when he was arrested in an indication that the police know kennedy was arrested for no other reason than the implicit bias officers harbor against black people all charges against him were dropped civil rights attorney ben crump would tweet what was the reason behind this violent and vicious arrest of leroy kennedy the body cam video shows the kind of vile inhumane treatment that has left him severely traumatized all because he had a shocked look on his face these officers must be held accountable the lawsuit claims that the defendants in the case the city of chicago and the two arresting officers used excessive force subjected kennedy to false arrest violated his due processes and four other counts also named in his civil suit filed on february 17th in the u.s district court for the northern district of illinois our officers jonathan rigner and nicholas Abramson, who are shown manhandling Kennedy. In the suit, Smith claims the defendants conspired amongst each other about what to do in an illegal effort to justify their frightening attack on Mr. Kennedy. The lawsuit seeks compensatory damages, and because defendants acted maliciously, wantonly, or oppressively, punitive damages against the individual officers in their individual capacities, as well as court and attorney fees.